We wanted to bring in a certified CPR instructor to help us with the very basics here. Jennifer Grobner is a nurse with BJC Healthcare. So first, uh, very simple terms, what is CPR? So CPR stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. So cardio meaning heart, mm -hmm. pulmonary meaning lung. So you're resuscitating and you're uh, administering an uh, emergency life-saving procedure um, when your heart basically stops. So show us where to start if you're going to perform CPR. So first of all, you want to be able to identify that a patient is truly in a cardiac arrest. Yeah. And what cardiac, cardiac arrest is for someone who's a lay responder could be someone who's unresponsive. They don't have a heart or they don't, um, they're not speaking, they're not blinking, um, they're not responding to any of your commands. So at that point, you want to first thing, call 911. Okay. And after you do 911 and you um, call, then we want you to open up their, their shirt, if they have a shirt on, expose their chest, and you want to apply compressions. The key thing is doing deep and fast compressions, meaning two inches deep, fast compressions in the middle of the chest okay. or the lower half of their, ch uh, of their breastbone. So you're gonna have one hand, the palm of your hand, and you're gonna place that in the middle, lower, um, lower uh, part of their chest, and then your other hand on top. Mm -hmm. And you want to be able to go two inches deep. So you're pressing pretty hard, maybe harder than you might think that you Correct. would. Correct, okay. so you wanna go very, very fast. 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Wow, Maybe okay. thinking about that song by the Bee Gees, Staying Alive. Okay. So as you can see, I'm gonna put my palm of my hand here, uh -huh. and the heel of it, and I wanna press it down, and you wanna go pretty fast. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You keep going, and this is a hands-only compression, which can be just as effective as doing um, compressions along with okay. um, with breath. So do you for pause patients. at ten, so or you keep going to a hundred or more? You, now you're just going to keep going. You okay. call that nine one one, right. and want you to keep doing the hands-only compressions for adults or children. And I wanted um, to ask: Is there anything different you need to do for a child than adult? So what's different from a child? from an adult, an adult is that a child is likely from a respiratory issue, so then you're going to have to combine respirations with okay. that, so the breathing. But for adults, would, you probably for don't adult need to. Compressions only for an adult okay. is, is just as effective as doing both. Okay, now we want to acknowledge that this quick, just couple minute segment is not going to replace a proper CPR class. BJC does offer those classes, and you can go to BJC.org for more information and sign up. What would students expect out of that class, quickly? At a, Students, what they would expect is a full course, about one and a half hours of instruction, along with um, going over CPR, hands only for adults, um, and then doing compressions and resusc resuscitation with pulmonary for child and infant. Um, and then the use of the AED, which is really important. Oh, and we also want to mention those classes are available both in person and online. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us uh, to share these basics, but critically important skills. Thank you for having me. Well, the